obviously, it's been my life for a start of. They were loyal fans because you used to get 30,000s and 40,000s on. And even 53,000s on on the holiday days uh, when we used to play Blackpool, Preston and all those sort of clubs, local clubs. 53,000 people and any cup ties are always a, a big gate on, you know, fabulous. So we had a, we've always had a good support. It's a small town. This is actually the centre practically of Burnley. It's only a couple of minutes down there to the centre. And people all over, in fact all over the area. Rottenstall, all that, Clitheroe, right, all down the south and down the way. You used to come here because we were a good club and uh, coming down there, it was just great. You walked it, <laughs> you know, didn't catch a bus or anything like that, you just walked it and down. And you had met different people, you know. In front of this stand were two enclosures, which you paid sixpence extra to get in. So then people who were in this stand thought they were a little bit well off. Because <laughs> when I started over there, on the turnstiles on that side, it was ninepence and one and threepence to come in. And I don't even understand that money now. I don't know whether you do or not. <laughs> Stan Turner, the former manager, once said that if you kick some, if you kick one person in Burnley, the whole town limps. And it's a little bit like that, I think, Burnley. I think if if, if Burnley people are perceived to be to be brought down in any way, they, they gather together. We have that spirit about us, and I think the Premier League brought that out to the fore fully. You know, the club got to Wembley, 38,000 fans, the town emptied, all went to Wembley, came back the following day, the whole town turned out to welcome the team back. I think it's very much perceived to be uh, a flag bearer for Burnley as a town. You know, there's certain people came on, you met them, you come on every week and you, that was their thing, you saw them every week and you came on every week with them, or every fortnight actually, but it was Saturday to Saturday then, not like it is nowadays, so we all right. Burnley's always been and always probably will be a community club. I think the location of Turf Moor, basically about a mile and a half from the town centre, makes it what everybody calls it, which is the heartbeat of the community. <laughs> Saturdays were good, because uh, say living so close, even if you weren't going on the match, you could always hear the sounds, you get all the smells. It was obviously, back in those days, it was uh, busier times. We were a bigger team, a bigger club, and it was always uh, quite a lot busier back in those days. It's, uh, it's quiet by comparison now, but uh, it's still got a buzz about, about the place. It's still exciting. Yeah. <laughs> It's very important. I think it's um, something to do on a Saturday. It brings the community together. Uh, it brings people from the area back to back to Burnley. So I'm based in Sheffield, so I, I travel um, an hour and a half every every game. And I know lots of people who who travel further distances, and I think it. It, it keeps that bond of, of where you're from, um, certainly keeps the ties, because otherwise I don't think a lot of people would, would necessarily come back very often. Well, I wasn't actually born in Burnley, I was born in Canada and lived there till I was eight. And I was brainwashed by my dad because he was born in Burnley and it was in his blood. And once Burnley's in your blood, that's it, you're, you're a claret forever. So I supported Burnley even though I didn't live in Burnley till I was eight years old. Only 150, last issue of the season. Starting with air, Leeds get beat with Redding, and we're in the playoffs.
brilliant. In them days, ladies and boys were the class of the same. There weren't so many ladies came on the match in the 1950s. You know, it, now it's a family area, isn't it? The man, the wife, and the children come on, which is an absolutely great thing. And you know, it's really good. Picture the family on, and then children get used to coming on, and come on, when they get older, they come on again with their families. So it's, it's a rolling stone. Do you remember? I've seen uh, seven chairmen and 23 managers, so and you're not really involved with the chairman uh, or, or the managers in a sense. You're not really involved. Though you, obviously when you're here a long while, you get to know both of all of them. And as it happened, as it happened with Burnley, the chairman is a Burnley supporter. And all the other men on the board are Burnley supporters. They're not some foreign person hiding, you know, Dubai. Days of, of, of supporter-led clubs is dying it's and it's very much a Lancashire thing now you know the, the likes of Blackburn Wigan Burnley Blackpool in Blackpool have gone to the Latvians you know these there's a hard core of of supporter led clubs you know you've got otherwise you've got these rich franchises and and people's train sets that they can play with the club and Chelsea for instance wouldn't mind losing 150 million pounds a year wouldn't matter to them Abramovich just writes a check every year the people of Burnley here care about their club and it's their money so I think that gives us a little bit more uh, importance, yeah, definitely. The turf was the thing to do on match days. There's no, no decision involved. That's what you do in Burnley. You go to the turf on Saturday. My grandfather is from Nelson, which is just down the road, um, and my dad's a Burnley fan. And if I hadn't have been a Burnley fan, uh, I'd imagine I'd have probably been put up for adoption or something similar. I think really, uh, my dad was uh, a big Burnley fan and uh, I remember growing up really, uh, all of the family used to support Burnley, one of my earliest memories. Uh, is the uh, Burnley Tottenham Cup final? I remember my dad going to that. So it's really been uh, as, as long as I live, as long as I've been born, really, I've been a Burnley fan. And uh, you know, through my father and the rest of my uh, rest of my family, uh, my brothers are still big fans. Sisters are still big fans. Uh, nephews and nieces have season tickets. Uh, I've got a son myself, and uh, he's a big Burnley fan. He even had his uh, recent wedding was uh, Burnley themed with all the tables named after Burnley players. It has that special feel about it, unlike a lot of other clubs. It's, uh, it's more part of the community, it's not just a business, it's, 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 it's part of Burnley, it's part of the town. It's not just uh, a sport or a, or a football club, it's a way of life, it's, it's part of the culture. Burnley were in a bit of financial trouble and um, bordering on going into administration and uh, 
me and my friend at the time, being students, we had less to do maybe than we uh, we, we do now. Um, and so we decided, well, what can we do? Well, we can't give a load of money to the club, um, so we'll try and raise some money. And uh, we uh, decided we'd walk from Lancaster to Burnley, uh, which is 47 miles, um, and uh, that was over the space of two days. We'd raise some money, and I think we raised uh, about £2,000, which obviously isn't a lot in the grand scheme of things, but. Uh, it was more of a symbolic thing rather than uh, raising a million pounds, for instance. When you move to home, you don't move teams. I've lived in Scotland, lived in Surrey, uh, lived in York now for 20 years. Uh, been a season ticket holder for most of that time. say it's the most important thing in my life possibly not but it would it'd run it pretty close um, I think um, I think the yeah, air I, I don't I don't I don't see um, you know I couldn't imagine not coming to Burnley on a Saturday um, I'm sure there are times in my life when I'm not gonna be able to go uh, every week like I like I do at the moment but um, it's certainly very important to me and it's uh, no matter what league we're in whether we're in championship or or even the, the lowest league it, it's still uh, a big part of my life certainly. Town to do well because you know if the town does well a lot of prosperous towns will you know lead to more prosperity at the football club so there is a synergy there between the uh, prosperity of the town and the prosperity of the football club. It's for me but it used to be extremely important but it does affect my mood of a weekend if we lose a game I'll be a bit grumpy for a couple of hours so it, it does still mean a hell of a lot um, in that respect and, and the club doing well does have a, has an influence on on your mood and things like that, yeah. You just get the journey, it's really, really nice, and it's been very, very good, there's no doubt about it.